My dear friends, welcome to my channel. Myself, Gaur Bharat Kumar, working as assistant professor in the department of CSE. In today's session, we will discuss about the introduction to normal forms and why we are using the normal forms. What are the problems we will face in the relational database? Okay, like that. Now, let us start with the meaning of normalization. Actually, normalization, mainly the important uh, meaning of normalization, why we are using the normalization means to reduce the redundancy okay so in this point of view some other benefits are also available after the normalization okay so actually the normalization is the process of organizing the data okay so definitely uh, it organizes the data okay so normal normalization is used to minimize the redundancy okay it eliminate the undesirable characteristics like uh, insertion anomalies updation anomalies deletion anomalies how we will um, what are the meaning of uh, insertion anomalies updation anomalies and deletion anomalies already we are covered in the previous session okay so another uh, use of normalization is uh, it divides the larger table into the smaller tables here we have several normal form techniques are there with the help of those techniques and we will divide the large table into the smaller meaningful table okay so another main advantage of uh, normalization is it is used to reduce the redundancy okay so these are the problems caused by the redundancy why we will reduce the redundancy because of mainly four reasons insertion anomalies updation anomalies and deletion anomalies storage redundancy okay for that point of view here we will reduce the redundancy with the help of normal forms okay what is the meaning of redundant storage actually some information is stored repeatedly okay so we, um, we will rectify uh, the repeated information with the help of normal forms here okay so if you want more information regarding the insertion anomalies updation anomalies deletion anomalies please watch my previous video here the link is also available okay so because of uh, these problems uh, mainly um, these problems are rectified with the help of normal forms okay so what are the different types of normal forms available in the dbms okay first normal form second normal form third normal form boys code normal form fourth normal form and fifth normal form okay so please remember this order only because suppose our aim is uh, to convert the relational table into the 4nf format then definitely first we will convert that table into the form of bcnf then only we will um, apply the fourth normal form condition okay so for every normal form we have several terms and conditions are there with the help of those terms and conditions here we will convert the given relational table into that form of okay that form of relational table okay so here in this session we will discuss uh, only the de definitions of the normal forms what is the meaning of first normal form actually suppose we say that the relational table the given relational table is uh, in the form of normal form definitely that uh, maintains the atomic values only okay so then only we will say that that uh, relational table is available in the form of first normal form now what is the meaning of second normal form so here the second normal form means definitely that is available in the first normal form after that uh, we will maintain okay uh, we will maintain the um, what is the condition here definitely here does not uh, the second normal form does not allows the partial dependencies okay that is the main so how we will identify the partial dependencies suppose we have the proper subset of candidate key implies non prime attributes then definitely that is not available in the um, second normal form uh, with the help of uh, terms and conditions we will convert that table into the second normal form how we will convert uh, those uh, topics are covered in the next session no problem what is the meaning of third normal form suppose our aim is to convert uh, the relational table into the third normal form then definitely it maintains the second normal form then we will convert uh, the normal form into the third normal form how what is the condition here the third normal form does not allow the transition dependency okay so then that is the third normal form next boys code normal form it is also called as a 3.5 normal form it is the advanced version of a third normal form it is a strictly it is also called as a third normal form strictly okay so here uh, suppose we will consider the functional dependencies x implies y so suppose either lhs of the functional dependencies should be super key or 
RHS of the functional dependency should be prime, then that is uh, actually that is the thorn normal form. Okay, what is the meaning of thorn normal form? Either LHS of functional dependency should be super key or RHS of uh, functional uh, dependency should be prime, then that is thorn normal form. Now, BCNF, what is the meaning of BCNF? Uh, suppose we will consider the functional dependency x implies y, definitely here the LHS maintains the super key, then only that normal form, that relational table is available in the boys code normal form. Next, fourth normal form. What is the fourth normal form meaning? Definitely that uh, is available in the BCNF format. Next, here the fourth normal form does not allow the multi value dependency. Okay, so finally, the fifth normal form. Fifth normal form definitely maintains the fourth normal form and uh, it does not allow the join dependency. Okay, so that is the meaning of uh, first normal form, second normal form, third normal form, BCNF, fourth normal form and fifth normal form okay so what is the relation between uh, first normal form second normal form third normal form and uh, bcnf actually the first normal form does not allow the atomic values second normal form does not allow the partial dependencies third normal form does not allow the transitional dependencies final bcnf means uh, definitely that is a full dependency okay so this is the information about uh, the normal forms okay in the next session definitely we will discuss about the all the normal forms with the suitable examples okay so these are the key points related to the all the normal forms okay thank you very much for your patience thank you very much for watching